Welcome to another nail tutorial video. Today I'll be creating this holiday themed plaid look using a mix of gel polish, regular polish, and then stamping on the plaid from a pattern. So let's get right into it. If you have any questions about anything I'm doing, just leave a comment down below. I started off by prepping my natural nails. For that, I used the Sally Hansen cuticle remover, which makes them less hard so you can push them back a bit, and then I used the flat edge of this tool to push them back when they're soft. I also used a nail file for the edges and a little clipper to clean up any hangnails and such. Then since I'm using gel polish and a UV lamp, I put on sunscreen on my hands to protect from the UV light. Today I'll be using a variety of polishes. For the background color, I'll be using this gel polish from the brand Gelish in the color Glamour Queen. Because this is a gel polish, you'll need to use a UV light to cure it, as well as a base and top coat. Then above that, for the pattern itself, I'll be using this really beautiful brown sort of berry color. This is a regular polish, and it's from Revlon in the color Divine. First, we'll start with a gel polish. With gel colors, you want to make sure your nails have absolutely no debris or moisture on them. I'll first brush on a coat of my gel base coat, and really any gel base coat works here. This layer helps to make sure the colored gel layer really sticks to your nail. So after putting on your base coat on all of your nails, slide your hand in the curing lamp for about 30 seconds, depending on which lamp you have. And again, before you do this, you definitely want to make sure that you put sunscreen on your hands, since this lamp does emit UV rays. You'll know your base layer is done when it's mostly dry, but still a little bit tacky. The timing is really just a lot of trial and error, since different lamps take longer than others. Once the base coat was done, I painted on the first layer of gel polish. So this one is by the brand Gelish in the color Glamour Queen. And when you're painting on gel polishes, you want to paint thin layers and be very careful just not to flood the corners of your nail. If the polish touches any of the sides, then it'll end up lifting and it just won't last as long as it should. But if you do end up getting any on the corners of your nails, you can just remove this with nail polish remover before you put it under the lamp. So I put this layer under the lamp for another 30 or so seconds, and again, you'll know when it's done, when it's just a little bit tacky, but mostly dry. I usually do two or three layers of gel polish. This time I did three layers. Now I'll just finish up painting on those layers. In my opinion, Gelish makes some of the best gel polishes because they're pretty thick, so they hardly ever run into your cuticles or the sides. And I just love this color because it's a little bit shimmery, but doesn't have huge chunks of glitter. All right, now all of the colored gel polish layers are done. Now before we can start with this stamp pattern, we need to make sure that the gel polish is sealed in. This was from the same brand as the base coat. Usually you just buy the gel base coat and top coat in a pair. So I'll add the gel top coat and go ahead and cure that under the lamp for about 60 seconds. Then once that layer's cured, you'll need to grab some nail polish remover and just do a quick swipe on each nail to wipe off the tacky layer that remains. Usually with gel top coats, it'll leave that sticky layer that you need to wipe away, but there are some no wipe top coats as well. There we go. Your gel polish should last about two to three weeks, so you can stop there if you want. Now for the best part. We'll be adding a stamped pattern layer using this stamping plate. I got this plaid plate from the brand Born Pretty. Before you start stamping, you'll need to remove the blue protective layer from the plate. I actually at first thought that this was just part of the plate, so I tried using it with this layer on, but of course it didn't work that way, so just make sure you remove that. So the way stamping plates work is that you drop some polish on the plate, then you use this scraper to flatten out the polish so it's only going in the crevices, and then you use the stamper to pick up the remaining polish and just stamp it on your nail. So I'll be using this plaid shape right here. And then for the polish, I'll be using this shiny Revlon polish in the color Divine. Now, not every polish will work for stamping. There's actually a special polish specifically for stamping, but I didn't have any. So I actually just had to do a lot of trial and error to find out which polishes I have work and which don't. So place a bit of polish on the top area of the design you want to transfer. Then you'll take your scraper, scrape that polish over the design at an angle so it just fills in all the holes. Then take the stamper, 
and pick up the pattern by rolling it from left to right over the polish. Before you stamp it onto your nail, look at the pattern you have on the stamp. You should be able to clearly see the pattern on the bottom, but if the stamp didn't pick up enough of the pattern, then just remove it from the stamp and start over. Then you can transfer it onto your nail. So look through the top of the stamper if you have a clear one and align it precisely where you want it to go on your nail. That's actually why it's best to choose a clear stamper instead of a solid one so you can see through it. Then after each time stamping, you'll need to thoroughly clean your plate, stamper, and card. It's best to remove the polish from the stamper by using clear tape instead of nail polish remover because the stamper is a little sticky. You also need to remove the excess nail polish from the pattern on your nail. So I just take a Q-tip, pour a little bit of the nail polish remover out into the cap, dip it in the Q-tip, and take that around the nail bed. After you've cleaned everything, you can move on to the rest of the nails. You'll want to do all this pretty fast because the polish dries quickly when it gets on the stamper. I try to place the same portion of the pattern in the same location on each nail. So for instance, in the top left of the nail, I have this large kind of dark portion in the same spot. That way it just looks a little bit more cohesive. And there we go. I think these turned out beautiful. Lastly, we can seal it all and have a nice glossy finish by adding the gel top coat again. So make sure the pattern layer is completely dry and then paint the glossy gel layer on. And again, we'll need to cure this, so put it under the UV lamp for about 60 seconds. And that's it! I loved how this turned out for my first stamping video. I think this is a really nice, sort of festive holiday look, because it's not the typical loud green and red, but it's a little bit more subdued and sophisticated. So let me know what you think about this design by commenting down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!